There's nothing like dangling something that hasn't been invented yet in the face of an engineer. Because <laughs> you know they can't stand it. They gotta make that. They've gotta turn it into a reality. And shows like Star Trek and other science fiction portrayals of the day, even to this day, serve, I see, as a kind of stimulation, a, a force of creativity for people who want to invent tomorrow. Back in the 60s when Star Trek premiered, that was an era where we were all thinking about the city of tomorrow, the home of tomorrow, transportation of tomorrow. Tomorrow was a daily reflection that we all carried with us. I distinctly remember. Okay, warp drives, sure, we'll have that in the future. Uh, little disks that have information on it, put it in a box and it speaks to you, sure, we'll do that. But doors that open just by walking towards them? How, how does it know you're approaching them? That'll never happen ever. <laughs> so don't ever listen to me predict the future. I'll take myself out of the running for that reason. In terms of the Starship Enterprise, for me, what's special about that ship? I've, I've seen many science fiction movies. I haven't seen them all. But I've seen many. Up until that point, all ships that were envisioned were built and occupied to go to a destination. Starship Enterprise had no destination. It just was out there, visiting multiple places. That may have been a first to transform your idea of space is a, is a way for me to get from A to B to space is a limitless frontier to explore.